You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Another great show. Story of Understanding. And remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. Oh, it's cold in the Ozarks. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of apple cider and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. My opening thought, remember the account of Br'er Rabbit climbing a tree? A rabbit couldn't do that, the little boy protested. <laughs> he did, the storyteller responded. He was just obliged to. <laughs> well, here's a great story about understanding. The ruler of an important country was distraught. His favorite horse, a spirited charger, was missing. The king sent couriers throughout the land looking for it, but to no avail. The horse had just disappeared. In desperation, the king offered a large sum for its return. This too failed. The days went by and no one had an inkling about where the horse, dead or alive, was. In the king's court was a simple soul not even bright enough to be a court jester. He gained an audience with the king and told him that he could find the lost horse. You? You can find my horse? exclaimed the king. You say you can find my horse? When the best and brightest of men in my realm have failed? I can, sir, said the simpleton. The king had nothing to lose. An all-out effort to find the horse had been made without success. So the king told the simpleton to see what he could do. Within hours, the horse was tethered in front of the royal palace. When the king saw it, he was ecstatic. He was astounded. He was so thankful. He immediately issued a large reward to his simple-minded servant and insisted on an explanation of how the horse had been found. Why, sire, t'was very easy, very easy indeed, said the simpleton. I merely put myself in your horse's place and asked myself, where I would have gone were I a horse. And I went there. <laughs> and there was your horse. It's a matter of viewpoint. The simpleton put himself in the horse's place. In doing so, he could better understand how the horse thought and how his process worked. The same process can work for you in or out of the workplace. My closing thought. 
an old Native American adage. Ask us to walk a mile in another's moccasins when trying to understand him. It's a simple piece of advice that anyone can use. Follow it and you'll have much less trouble getting on in this world. Well, it's time for me to feed the pups, so I'll see you next week, friends. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. This is John Willard from the farm.